At the office of the Fresno County Superintendent of Schools, you know, we're proud to bring you Education Matters in partnership with EECU, Table Mountain Rancheria, Fresno State, and KC24. Thank you for watching Positive Stories About Education. Students are already preparing their projects for next year's Fresno County Science Fair, and they're getting a lot of inspiration from one of last year's winners, 12-year-old Pauline Estrada. In tonight's Education Matters, Juanita Stevenson reports that Estrada's project not only landed her a national prize, it's also helping Valley farmers. It is the one single issue that impacts all Central Valley farmers, the drought. The lack of water has taken a toll on agriculture. The water shortage has also sparked innovation aimed at mitigating the problem. Telemetry recovered. One of the latest solutions coming from a local eighth grader. Seeing the impact that drought had had on our agriculture here in Fresno really inspired me to create a project in order to help these farmers manage their water use more efficiently and maximize their yield and detect drought stress. 12-year-old Pauline Estrada is an eighth grade student at Granite Ridge Intermediate School in Clovis Unified. And this is her seventh grade science project. You have to um, plug this in so that it powers the computer. She explains how the infrarover can help farmers. It can take um, pictures of the plants, infrared pictures that um, allow it to see the canopy temperature. And this is a direct indicator of the plant's um, drought stress or its health. So you can kind of see if you need to irrigate or not, allowing you to save water. Looking at this robot, you see it's an advanced piece of technology. Pauline built this and knows every part. This flight controller right here is actually like the brain of the rover. It controls everything that's connected to it. Although Pauline's mother is a scientist and the 12 year old worked under the guidance of Fresno County Science Fair Director Jennifer Weibert, Weiber says Pauline came up with and designed this project on her own. Some of these kids they just don't need mentors. They research online and they just get to work figuring it out. It's amazing to watch some of these kids with these engineering projects just do it on their own. Pauline built her first rover at STEM camp in the fourth grade. By sixth grade, she had perfected it enough to make it to a national science competition. Going there last year where um, I did not win, I really got the determination and the motivation to do even better and to work even harder. She continued to work on her science project in the seventh grade, building and mounting her own infrared camera and figuring out how to download the images. Her infrarover actually created a solution to a big problem facing farmers, and that helped her take second place in the technology portion of the Broadcom Masters, a national science competition for middle and high school students that was held in October. Pauline was elated to have her hard work pay off. It made me really um, happy and glad to have done this project when I um, heard all the responses from farmers because it um, really showed me that this project was worth something and that it was useful to them and that it could really help them and that's really what I was going for so I was really happy to hear that. For Education Matters, I'm Juanita Stevenson, KC24, Local News That Matters. Man, such determination Holy and moly. all the time. And that is quite a, a contraption. Really there. impressive. Wow.